What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies uh, channel. Um, I want to... This is basically just my thoughts about what all the space agencies around the world are doing. Um, and I get a lot... I get some naysayers still about, you know, this is all a hoax. As far as with the moon, Mars, pictures, doesn't matter. It's all a hoax. Um, you know, why are you guys still doing these videos? It's stupid. It's foolish. Well, um... Because I believe that it's not fake. Now I'm going to ask you guys some questions. And it doesn't matter who you are. You could be, you know, a hardcore skeptic. You could be a debunker. You could be anything you want. You could be a troll. But ask yourself this question. If you don't want to do your own homework and look around, that's fine. But then don't bash other channels that are trying to find the truth. That's first and foremost. But ask yourself this question. Is it possible that these space agencies, well, probably firstly NASA... Is it possible that they're using a little reverse psychology on us? Let me explain. Back in the 70s, I think it was, and I remember seeing this, it was 2020 that aired the idea of that m fake moon landing um, because it showed like a, and it had a circle on the upper right corner of the picture showing a steel girder. Is it possible, two things come to my mind, but is it possible that it was just a, um, a simple picture that somebody put out and said, oh my God, look, it's all fake. Or is it possible that NASA leaked it out so that they can debunk themselves? Now, as crazy as that sounds, think about it. Hmm. Let's see now. I believe it was, and this is the truth. You can look this up. Photoshop came out in 1988, but it wasn't introduced to the public until 1989. Okay. So these pictures were around since the 60s and 70s. Okay. Suddenly Photoshop, forget about Photoshop just for a moment. Just people who are heavily into it, like the professional photographers, they're looking at these pictures going, what the hell's going on? What does NASA do? Oh, hell, these guys are starting to scrutinize our pictures. What are we supposed to do? Well, okay. Why don't we throw this picture out and we'll give it to 2020. Let them have at it. Everybody will think our photos are garbage and they'll, they won't put any weight into them. Think about it. If I was going to try to disguise something, I'd put something on there to totally f make me look like a liar. That my stuff is fake. So now the new generation looks at it and says, well, my dad and mom said it was absolute crap because they seen it in the 70s. So now, you know, they, you know, because young kids, you know, they're malleable, they're impressionable. Um, so you can tell them anything and they're going to grow up believing it. Well, it's the same thing. I mean, you know, so now they grow up going, oh, it's absolute crap. Why do you guys do these videos? Well, like I said, is it possible that they're using reverse psychology on us and that they're trying to just say simply, well, if we get people to believe that our pictures are garbage... Well, then they won't think to really search into these pitches and, you know, you know, they won't, again, they won't put too much attention on them. And that's what I believe is going on. But let me backtrack a little bit. First of all, you got people saying that the moon landings were fake because they seen the steel girder. You can see there's pictures of where you see the cameraman on the set and all this other stuff. And then you got the Martian uh, uh, landscape looking thing uh, on a part of where they had the, the uh, Curiosity rover and the other two rovers. You can see, like, it looks just like the landscape actually looks like Mars. Guess what, people? It's called testing grounds. It's called test sets. There's a reason for these. First of all, they have to, they, when they had the moon buggy on there, they wanted they put all different kinds of gravels, beach sand, all kinds of stuff on there to see if this thing can actually travel through it, whether it's dust, sand, gravel, whatever. They want to make sure this thing can do that. Also, this picture where it shows the steel girder, they turn the lights down on a set for a reason. They want to make sure the cameras can actually handle the different lighting. Like only so much sunlight coming onto the moon. What's it going to look like when they film it? Is it going to look... Are they going to be able to see what they want to see on the, on, on the moon? Of course, they had their own lighting, but that's beside the point. Um, just like on Mars, you see we have a testing ground uh, for the rovers. They've got the same color rock. Now, keep in mind that the MRO, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has the high-rise camera on it, high-definition camera, which can see a table on the Martian surface. Which means they can take a snapshot of a certain area, and they can duplicate it here on Earth. Why would they do that? Well, if they have the same color as they do on it, they want to see how the sunlight and the ground, the difference in contrast, if the camera's going to be able to handle it, the 17 cameras that are on this Curiosity, and how they're going to be able to view pictures, you know, when they see it with such contrast, meaning... Daylight against a dark surface. So, has it ever occurred to people that that's what these are made for? This is what these testing grounds are made for. Uh, the mission 
uh, astronauts, they went into, they were in pools with their suits on for weightness and weightlessness and all this other stuff. People are not putting any thought into this. They're just saying, oh, it's absolute garbage and that's what I'm going to you know, go with and that's it. You're not going to make my mind up. That's fine. Think what you want. You're, it's freedom to think whatever you like. But don't say, well, it's, it, they haven't just because that's what you've been told. If you truly are curious, then do your own homework. You will find the truth. It's out there. I promise you it is. So, again, they've got the testing grounds for the Curiosity rover with all of the red ground, the boulders, and everything else because they want to see if this thing can go over the terrain, how to navigate around it, so on and so forth. Um, so, yes, they have testing grounds. They're not going to take million-dollar, $2.5 billion uh, rovers and just throw them up there and go, oh, we didn't anticipate that. No, they're going to take a bunch of pictures of this surface first. I don't care if it's a lunar surface or the Martian surface. And they're going to test these vehicles on it. This is the reason why they have these testing grounds or these uh, testing cells, meaning like inside buildings and so on and so forth. So don't disregard their mission just because, ooh, it was done on a set. You know, just use a little common sense here. And like I said, is it possible that they're using a little reverse psychology? Again, if you've seen that type of picture back in the 70s, you're going to disregard any picture that NASA has to show you, and you're going to automatically, eh, I don't believe that crap. I don't know why anybody else does. It's fake. That's fine. Again, you're free to b believe what you want. But for the people who are not doing their homework, for the trolls, and for, like, these uh, debunkers, I have nothing but a nice, hot, warm, heartfelt kiss my ass. That's all there is to it. You know, because if you don't want to do your homework, even if you're a debunker and you're being paid, come on, man, even you got to question that. Let me tell you something. You couldn't shut me up, you know, for X amount of dollars. I want to know the truth. Inquiring minds want to know. So for me, it means a lot. I want to know what's on these planets. You know, again, I get these people saying, um, yeah, yeah, uh, why would they, you know, it's all a hoax. It's all done here on Earth. Again, let me reiterate because I said this before in other videos. Wouldn't it be more feasible? For NASA to take pictures, if they're going to be on Earth, keep in mind, if it is on Earth, why not take it, the pictures in a barren desert? Anywhere in the world, doesn't matter. Why would they take pictures of things that have, that, like structures, or vehicles, or bridges, or metal pots, or mechanical pots, in the pictures only to manipulate them out? It seems like an awful lot of work to do that. Wouldn't it be easier, if they're going to fake the pictures, wouldn't it be easy to go to, like, to the frozen tundra in Russia? Or to any empty desert on the planet that has nothing in there, so there's nothing to manipulate out. Wouldn't that be more feasible and less work? I believe that. But people are like, oh, no, this, you know, this is taken on Earth. Then why would they go through the trouble? <laughs> why take a picture of things that, ha that are clearly in these pictures and only to manipulate them out? Wouldn't it be easy just to take pictures with nothing in them? It simply doesn't make sense. It's, it's counterproductive to think that way. So this is just my thinking, guys. And you guys can, you know, give me your thoughts as usual because I want to hear them. Um, I just don't think that these are fake. Now, I'm not saying every picture here is fake. Don't get me wrong. In fact, I've got one, and I'm hoping the guy gets back to me, guys, because this is neat. I had a guy send me, uh, give me a picture. And uh, he got it from a fellow of his that uh, supposedly was affiliated with one of these space programs. Um, and when, he, when I got the picture, I, I was blown away, simply blown away. Um, I said, if this is truly Mars, oh my God. Because when you see this picture, it looks like two great big highways, freeways going across this picture. And then when you really get into it and enhance this picture, you can see what looks like bridges, streets going off in different directions. And it has the same old manipulation, obfuscations that you see that NASA and all these other space agencies do. And you can see this great big areas that's blotched out. And by enhancing, you can see roads, buildings. And I asked him, is there any, and of course I wasn't thinking at first, but I said, can you give me a link to it? I'm going, wait a minute, <laughs> the guy's not going to go out and give me a link. It's not even, I've never seen the picture before. So I said, okay, is there any way you could prove that it's somehow affiliated with NASA or JPL, ESA or any of these? Is there any way you can give me proof? And I'm hoping he gets back to me because I can't, I, I just don't feel right about putting this picture out without a link of some sort. But I may still do the picture just for the heck of it, just to give you guys, because I'm not sure. I, for all I know, it could be a, a town in Nevada. It could be anything. But I might do it just as fun, just to show you guys. But it just simply blew me away. I was like, wow, this is incredible. And I did ask him, 
Is there any way you can show me that this is the real deal? Is, you know, if there's any way you can kind of confirm it, because um, I would love to know. Because, my God, if you see this thing, it's like when you enhance it, you could just see this stuff and you just go, whoa, this is insane. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm hoping to hear back from him. I didn't hear a thing from him yet. It's been about a week. So, who knows? Maybe it's BS. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a picture they made up themselves and they're trying to trip me up and say, hey, look, this guy's a fool. I actually sent it to him. I doctored it up and he thinks it's Mars. That's why I don't put any weight in these pictures unless I can find this link or somehow something to do with it. But. Um, yeah, I mean, to believe that these pictures are completely fake, I don't believe that for a moment. I don't believe that. I'm not saying none of these, have, obviously, they're doctored up. I mean, that's just no BS about that. It's complete crap. Um, but if these were all, pictures were all complete garbage, and there's a good possibility, I'm not saying it could never be. If it is, then it's nothing, to, it's nothing more than hiding something that's really bigger going on behind the scenes. It seems like an awful lot of money to just throw at a program or a hoax it just and there's no there's nothing behind it. It just makes no sense. Other than monetary gain, hell, they can make their own damn money if they want to. So, for, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're we're funding them, but it doesn't mean they can't make their own money. I mean, they got all you know endless resources to do whatever they want with. So it just seems a little, a lot of work to just try to uh, make this stuff up. But who knows? Me personally, I enjoy the hunt. I love doing this stuff, and like I said, every time I see pictures, like it looks like town, cities, uh, you know, modern day things, machine pods on the in these pictures, you just know you're larger than something, just uh, than just one person here on the planet. There's there's a lot more to it, and and that's what makes me feel a whole lot larger that I'm part of the solar system, part of the universe. It's you're part of something much larger, and that's what keeps me driving. It keeps me driving to do these videos. Um, if they shut me down tomorrow, you'd know the reason. Because there's no other reason for me to do these videos other than to try to bring these things out and then share them with you. I don't care about the monetary gain. Yeah, I got. I told you guys before, I got uh, advertisements. And yeah, why not? Why not to get, you know, I'll get, if I can get some money to upgrade my uh, equipment and help, you know, just, you know, because it's my little computer room here. I got all kinds of stuff in here. And it uses quite a bit of electricity. So, you know, I just maybe offset it, just throw it towards the electric bill, no big deal. So, yeah, I mean... I do. I'm not getting rich off it. Nobody here is getting rich off this stuff. I promise you. I'm not driving around in some Mercedes or anything like that. I mean, come on. You know, I got a 2008 Chevy. I mean, I'm not loaded here, guys. But, you know, the bottom line is people who doubt this stuff, you really should look into this. If you truly don't believe my videos or anybody else's videos, that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. But if you're still curious, do your own homework. You'll find it. The answer is there. So... Anyway, guys, give me your thoughts on this. I don't want to make this super long, but it's just some things you want to bring up every now and then and just remind the people that, believe it or not, uh, some people are discouraged, saying, oh, my God, I've seen enough. They, they've lied enough. You haven't seen enough because here's the thing. If they're lying, that's fine. But there's stuff still being taken out of these pictures, meaning we're able to drag out certain things, and I want to see everything there is to see. And, of course, we're only seeing maybe one-eighth or one-third of what's really in these pictures so but if you can get a little tidbit out of it every now and then i'm i'm okay with that because it, it clearly shows there's something on mars i mean between what i put out and all my buddies on uh the channels that i support are all done come on man it's it's undeniable that's all there is to it but again guys give me your thoughts let me know what you think because i know you guys is a lot of you guys are hardcore on this stuff and you just want to you know uh I, I love people's opinions and you know whether yay or nay and is it, uh, do you guys find it all BS? Do you think it's, uh, part of something much larger if they are BSing us? Let me know. Give me your thoughts on it. I'd be curious to know. Anyway, guys, got some good ones coming up there. Uh, I got a comment video coming up. It's, uh, uh, 67 P, uh, P. So check that out. Uh, that was brought to me and brought to my attention, which I've seen the pictures, but never liked the way this is put. Um, well, it was brought to me. So I want to show you that and, um, pretty interesting. Uh, you guys will like that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. Thanks for hearing me talk, and uh, give me your give me your uh, comments and let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next pick.